okay guys in this video tutorial we will learn that how we can add a push button or any other switch with data of Arduino so for it first of all you need to take one push button and it must be of active type like SPST means single pole single throw okay now you can see this push button okay now we need to take at least three buttons three push buttons okay also take one Arduino you know you can take any Arduino from the Google or from any other platform and one more thing that Proteus is not offering it's Arduino or Pro Proteus is not offering any type of Arduino so you must have to download it from the outside uh, that is from any website or Google so you need to copy its library and then you need to paste the library of Proteus in the Arduino folder and in Arduino folder in the library folder of Arduino just paste the library unzip it and it's ready to use okay now we will attach this button push button with pin number 13 and the second with pin number 12 pin number 12 and 13 with pin number 11 okay now we need to take uh, one DC power supply or any source and we need to attach it with the first push button then this with the second push button third with the third push button okay uh, we can because Arduino works on 5 volts, so we have to have to apply the voltage of 5 volt via push buttons or switches. So our circuit is complete. Okay, now we will go to the Google. Uh, sorry, we will go to the Arduino ID that is Integrated Development Environment. okay now we need to go to the file and then new and here you need to write your sketch first see that we have attached the push buttons to the pin number 11 12 and 13 and all these three pins are the digital ios that is gpios or digital ios input output pins so it's 13 12 and 11 so we need to write pin mode 13 comma output and why it is so because we have we must declare 13 as either input or output and which command will decide or will declare it the pin mode command that either their input or output so okay so here we have written output but actually we need to write input 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 13 12 and 11 and all three are input pin mode is declaring all the IOS via this method okay now we will now do one more thing that we will declare an integer variable in order to store anything like uh, we, we, we declared a variable D and then we will see that idle signal will come on the uh, Arduino pin or not so for it we need digital read 13 yes 13 okay also copy it and paste it three times like two times more okay now 
you can give them any number like a and here v dav d13 here 12 it will read the status of 12 and this one that is v it will read the status of 11 and then store it inside the variable v same for all the two above okay now we will apply the if statement that if d is equal to is equal to 1 that if there is signal on d what must be here cdl dot print ln push push button on 13 pin is on okay also copy it and write it here like this control v control v so if d is equal to 1 a is equal to 1 and v is equal to and v is equal to yeah if a is equal and v is equal to 1 then push button on 12 is on and 11 is on okay now we need to run this code push button with Arduino save save it and after the compilation is done okay there is some problem yeah we, we didn't put the semicolon here Now we need to copy this link and paste it here. Okay, but we need a, a virtual terminal to see RXT to TX and this RX to TXT. This is serial monitor. We can see all type of see all type of uh, inputs on this. Okay, now we will run it, and you can see that nothing is displayed on serial monitor because we did not press the what's called as the push button. As soon as we will press the push button. we need to wait rxt to txt and txt to okay okay wait one more problem is there we we did not initialize the serial what's called as the serial communication so that is why so you need to write serial dot print ln Serial dot print ln. Uh, sorry, not serial dot begin. Serial dot begin 9600. This is the baud rate, and we need to. Okay, now we will run it, and now hopefully we can we, we can see the. Okay, now push button on pin 13 is on okay now push button on pin 12 is on okay now you can see that now we will press push button 12 and it is written push button 12 is on and now i have clicked the 11 and it is written clear wait 
so as you can also do one more thing that is attach some pull down registers on it, anything like that but hopefully you got the the what's called as the push button interfacing with that of the Arduino so thanks for watching this video tutorial